Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out a new Insider Preview build to the Beta Channel Insiders build 26120.4161, which was made available with the update KB5058515. And just a quick reminder, the Beta Channel Windows Insiders are now on Windows 11 version 24H2. Now, first of all, the first new feature is once again for Copilot Plus PCs. So no surprises there with new Microsoft 365 text action in click to do. Now, Microsoft describes this as draft with Copilot in Word. And they give an example where if you've ever stumbled across an idea and you wish you could just start writing, then with this new draft with Copilot in Word, click to do action, you can, according to Microsoft. So whether it's a sentence in an email or a snippet on your screen, just win and click on the recognized text, as we can see in the image provided, and choose the draft with Copilot in Word, which will help you turn your idea into a full draft according to that announcement. Just take note though that this feature though is only available if you have a Microsoft 365 Copilot subscription and a Copilot Plus PC. Now moving on to new features that are being rolled out gradually and now these all apply to your so-called standard PCs. The first is you can choose what lock screen widgets appear and this is also going to start making its way into the stable very soon where Microsoft says that after rolling out this experience to Windows Insiders in the EEA, it is now beginning to roll out more widget options on the lock screen, as well as support for lock screen widget personalization, previously referred to as weather and more, with Insiders in all regions. So it's not just the EEA anymore, and I'm glad to see that because this is quite a handy feature just to help you customize the lock screen with those widgets. With Microsoft saying you can add, remove, and rearrange lock screen widgets such as weather, watch list, sports traffic, and so on. And any widget that supports the small sizing option can be added here as well, which I think is a nice move. And to customize your lock screen widgets, you navigate to settings, personalization, lock screen. And I think this is definitely a step in the right direction. And heading on to the next, Microsoft says it's also adding support for multiple boards so that you can have more space for your favorite widgets while being able to stay on top of current events. So if we just zoom in, yeah, you can see to the left-hand side, Microsoft says it's introducing the new navigation bar on the left where you can switch between a dedicated widgets dashboard and other integrated dashboards like my feed. And I think this is actually also a nice move because it just gives you a little bit more customization with this widget board. And this they say was also previously previewed with Windows Insiders in the EEA and is now rolling out um, to all users gradually in the beta channel. And I think that's a handy little option. And the next change in improvement could be regarded as an ad where Microsoft says to help you quickly find the right app for opening files, we are trying out showing recommendations from the Microsoft Store app within the Open With dialog. These recommendations are denoted by a store icon next to apps in the dialog. Now, I must be honest, I don't think I would find any use for such a feature. And I just personally think it's cluttering the right-click context menu to select an app to open this PDF file, as an example. But for some, may be useful, but I just feel it's a little bit of an advert in that right-click context menu that we don't really need. That's just my personal take on it. And the next two I'm just going to mention. The first I have actually posted on, and I'll leave the video for this link down below and in the end screen, where Microsoft says it's beginning to roll out a new PC-to-PC -PC migration experience in Windows. Check the video out for more info. They carry on to say, you'll start to see the landing and the pairing page in the Windows Backup app giving you a first look at what's coming. In the full experience, you'll be able to transfer your files and settings from your old PC to the new one during the PC setup process 
support during the PC setup will be available in a future update. They mentioned that we are also releasing this in phases for a smooth experience and will provide more details soon. But just go check that video out for more info if you'd like some more info. And then just a last quick mention for settings. Microsoft says it's updated the dialogues for entering your product key, troubleshooting activation, phone activation, and retail demo to, to match the Windows 11 visuals. And then over and above those features and changes and improvements for the beta channel, there are a couple of fixes and then a couple of known issues. And known issues are common because this is still a preview build. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.